What up, what up, what is good, y'all? Tech G back in this bitch. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Colmac. Alright, Colmac layout. <laughs> so let's look at the layout. I switched the keys um, from a QWERTY, alright, QWERTY to the Colmac. And here's the difference. You got your Q and W, um... F, P, and G, that's change. A, R, S, T, D, that's in the middle. All right? And then the bottom is the same. Z, X, C, V, B is the same. Um, now we're over here on the right side. J, L, U, Y, um, I think is different. And I think all of these are different as well the bottom i think are different or no is it different let me check so this is my other keyboard so this is this is where the k is the m is the same then there's a bunch of vowels right here oh shit let's go back here um yeah, we got the vowels right here. Well, yeah, the, all the vowels are in this little quadrant right here. And you got the semicolon. So on the physical tip, I um, I swapped the keys. Um, but from a software perspective, I just used um, the Mac. On my Mac, I just changed the setting. Um, so to look at that... You can um, you can um, you can just change it from your Mac. So you see over here, I just change it from Colmac to the US is the QWERTY, and if you go back here, that'll be Colmac. So. So you don't have to remap it in the um, the app at all. You can just change the setting um, on your um, operating system, and that'll do all the work, right? So so far, man, this shit was like learning how to type all over again, except except in a different style. So it's, it's super fucking tricky because um, you have these shadow movements, right? You have this muscle memory you have to break. And you have to do it all over again. And um, I think my typing speed is like eight words per minute. So, so fucking slow. Um, but I think I like it. Um, one thing it made me realize is like all of these, I call it shadow movements. Like the way I write the, the way I type, um, you know, food. You know, the way I type task or requirement, I have to relearn all of that because before I could just think something and instantly type it. But now I have to really map my finger where it wants to go. Um, and it's been tricky as fuck. Um, in the beginning, I could swap between Colmac and US just instinctively. But I think it's just a time thing, you know, you just got to spend more time doing it you know more muscle memory memory more reps um but i think i like it um of course there's always like a growing pain and just a transition pain but um hopefully it's worth it supposedly you're supposed to type faster more efficiently um with this layout because i think these are the most common keys in the middle and here as well and then these are the less common keys um and having all your vowels right here um is supposed to help with your efficiency um i don't know what they base it off of maybe they base it off like the most common words used for most people um but i've read that the qwerty is like a old, super old school way of doing um um a keyboard layout um and it's very outdated so there's more efficient ways to lay out the keys. 
Um, and it feels pretty comfortable. Writing with Cold Mac on like a regular MacBook um, keyboard is very uncomfortable um, since we're trained. Um, you know, I've been using computers for, for like you know 20, 20 something years, so I'm really dialed in on how I type there. So doing the Cold Mac is a huge, a huge change. But hopefully the uh, the effort is worth the reward. Um, and a lot of people seem to like it. There's other there's other ways to um, there's other layouts to type as well. Um, I haven't tried those ones yet because yeah, it takes so much time and effort to invest um, in learning a new a new style. Again, like my typing speed is like it could be like five or twelve words per minute. Um, super slow. And you, I have to really think um, about which key that I'm pressing. So it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So my emails are super slow. Um, but I think it'll be worth it. I hope it'll be worth it. But just wanted to share uh, that with you. Yeah, someone in the, in the comments recommended it to me so shout outs to that guy or girl um uh, thanks for the recommendation um fuck i should have got that person's name but oh well uh, i'll shut you out next time um i'll give it a shot you know and we'll see how that goes check out my mic has a little a little fluffy head thing this guy reminds me of uh um habib right no matter made off he had that little that Russian puffy little hat thing kind of reminds me of that. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, man, keyboard sick. Oh, another keyboard tip. Like, there's this kind of input wire here. I started moving it up like here, like vertically. That fits other things around here because if you put it down here, it can get in the way of other things. So maybe you guys could try that too if you want. If you need some clearance to put stuff, like I might speaker right here. Sometimes like I'll, I'll put my, my my work laptop in the middle, and I'll put my work laptop here, and I'll just work from side to side. Um, most days I'll just have it in the middle right here. And that's pretty um pretty good for my uh, my setup. Um, let's see what else? New keyboard. Fuck, it's just hella hard to learn. It's 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 kind of frustrating, you know, because if you want to write your your T, right? You have to put T right here, which is nice. But I always, you know, find myself kind of leaning over here for that T, but it's right here now. So you really got to retrain and remap the way you uh, type. But once you get it down, I think um, I could switch between different layouts. Because I still have my, my OG keyboard here. So when I'm working on my standing desk, I'll just bang out on this guy right here. Um, so I can switch between layouts, but, uh, man, it's, it's pretty frustrating. It's pretty frustrating, but, uh, give it a shot. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me go, let me know if you guys use it, right? If you guys use it. Um, that's it for now, guys. Over and out, man. Over and out. Have a good day.